Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2012 Ford Taurus. So here we have the Decancha and that's going to be part number 118599. And then here we have the Kurt and that's going to be part number C56093. Now both of our kits are going to give us the same end result. They're going to give us a four pole flat so we can hook up to our trailer and they're both going to live inside of our car until we're ready to tow. Then we can drape it over our trunk and it'll be right here ready to hook up to our trailer. Now both of our kits are going to protect our vehicle from any problems that may arise on the trailer end and keep it from feeding back in. Now they're going to do that with our module boxes here. Now the Kurt here is going to be a little bit wider but it is going to be flat. Now the way we're going to mount this is Kurt does provide you with some double sided foam tape that we'll be mounting at the box to the inside of the vehicle somewhere. Now the Takancha is slightly shorter but it is a little bit thicker. Now they also provide us with some double sided foam tape so we can mount it to the inside but they also have the added benefit of this small tab with a hole here where we could actually zip tie it to something as well. Another benefit that Takancha has is this material here. You can see it's kind of a shiny plastic looking material. That's potting material that's filled this entire box so we don't have to worry about any vibrations or any kind of damage to the internal electronics because it has that nice protection against it. Now both of our kits are going to install relatively the same. We're going to have T connectors that are going to connect in between our taillights and our taillight housings for the driver and passenger side and we're going to have to run a length of wire from our converter box up to the battery. And we're also going to have to ground out our kits and they do provide us with all the hardware, self-tapping screws and connectors to get everything ran. Now one benefit to the Kurt when it comes to installation is going to be the connection points where our connectors and our wires come together. It's not that big and we're not going to have to worry about too much of them interfering behind our taillights when we go to install them. Now with the Takancha, we're going to have a larger piece right here that's going to be our connector for our wires. Now it is possible and they do fit, but it's a little bit easier when we don't have this here to deal with behind our taillights. Now since we are running a power wire from both of our converter boxes to our battery, each one of our kits does come with a fuse holder and they are fuse protected. Now both of them are going to come with a 10 amp fuse and they're both going to offer you the same amount of protection against overloading our vehicle's electrical system. Now another small difference is here in the Kurt, our four pole wire, they do give us a little bit extra. There's about eight inches extra wire compared to the Takancha here. Now we're going to benefit from that in case our trailer wiring isn't long enough or of the installation, we're going to have a little bit more wiggle room of where we can mount our box. Now a very small difference here is with the dust covers. The Kurt is going to come with one that's removable as well as replaceable and the Takancha is going to be built in. So to sum everything up, as far as vehicle protection goes, both of our kits are going to give us adequate protection against any kind of electrical issues that may arise on the trailer end and keep it from feeding back and damaging our vehicle. As far as ease of use goes, I think the Kurt's going to take it here just because they give us that little bit of extra wire so we have that little bit of extra wiggle room to hook up our trailer. As far as durability goes, I think the Takancha is going to take it here purely because of the converter box having the potting material in it and I think it'll have a little bit more longevity to it. As far as ease of installation, I think the Kurt's going to take it here purely because the wires are a little bit smaller where they come together and we don't have to get as much behind our taillights to get everything connected. And that'll finish up the look at the best wiring options for your Ford Taurus. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.